Um, right, on to the, the product. Um, the, the BL40, the, the new chocolate foam. And uh, I've said already that the reason we're here in the design centre is because we believe it's an iconic design, um, bringing um, design to the fore again in a way that we have done many, many times. I'm sure you know, and through the gallery you, you've been reminded of the fact that um, we brought something to life called the Black Label series, and the original chocolate was the, the start of that. Um, we followed that up with, uh, with Shine, and then we had the secret phone, which again talked to materials that would be used uh, in the products that were innovative and um, actually very useful as well. So we're very proud to be in this establish, uh, establishment, bringing to life yet another one in the series of black label products from LG Mobile. It's BL40, um, I've already said that, but there are some key features that I want to just um, highlight. Um, what we've done with the design of the product, and you'll have noticed maybe a few people showing the product before we've got down to this, and you will see it later on in your hand, is that um, we brought to life something which has not been seen in this style of product before, a 4.12 inch screen. Now when I say 4.12 inch screen, what does that mean? It means nothing really because you've got to relate it to the size of other screens. But what we're saying here is this is a widescreen device, high definition widescreen device protected by tempered glass because you'd expect that in a product of its type, of its cachet. And um, I'll talk in a minute about what that widescreen enables you to do and what it brings to life. Um, it is designed for the future. It's, it's a product that is of now but is looking at the shape of the future and you'll see that as being pretty much the strap line of what we wanted to bring to you this evening. Um, who will want this phone? Well, you will, <laughs> by and large. I mean, we've already pointed out that it's a youthful audience and this is a youthful target market. market. 18 to 25, probably a little bit beyond also, if I'm honest, because the style will appeal to people older still. They're people who will um, surf the, the web, they'll, they'll go onto the internet in a mobile fashion, be it on their um, laptop or with their current phone, and they'll definitely be interested in keeping in touch with their communities of friends and colleagues. That's the sort of target audience for this device. But people who uh, implicitly want the phone that they have to be representative of their own style and their own part to play as they walk around the streets of London and any other city. Um, I mentioned the four inch screen, this wide screen or panoramic uh, viewer that we, we've brought to life here. And if you can see on the, the, the right there, you can see that against a typical three inch screen, you basically see more. You don't have to move around. You, you are getting the full Monty. And that's very, very important with regard to something else that I'll allude to in a minute. Um, you'll see the, the screen changes here and, and brings to life the fact that in normal mode, it moves out to expand to almost the full length of this phone, which is quite compelling. And you will, as I said, when the trainers get their, their hands on you, you will see the product and you'll be amazed by some of the film footage that they will show you in this panoramic um, mode. Um, I mentioned something just now that was really where the widescreen um, shows itself to, to such benefit, and that's web browsing. You're probably all conscious that when you turn a device onto its, um, onto its side, you have to scroll back and forward to get that tail end or that side of the, of the screen of the web page that you're looking at or want to look at. You don't have to do that with the new chocolate, with the BL40. You actually get the full representation of the web page that you want to look at. So you're simply scrolling up and down, not side to side. Um, and effectively, we get a representation of that with some of the products to the right there. We've also got something else um, on the BL40, which I think is very, very clever indeed. If you've got such a big screen that is useful to do the things that I've already mentioned, why not split it down and allow you dual functionality? So this dual screen user interface is hugely important. And as you've seen as that, the, the shots have changed on screen, where you've got uh, the left side telling you who has mailed you, who has texted you, 
the right side has those emails or texts representing the person that you've actually decided to pick up that right side of the screen. But it also works on scheduler and it also works on the MP3 part of the phone. So that, that screenshot there shows you it use, being used for the music part where it split the screen into two parts. Um, we're all very familiar with the concept of copy, paste from our, our work on PCs and, and not many of us can escape using computers. What we've got with the new chocolate is a very innovative way of doing something similar but simply by touch. So you simply touch the text, the words you want to move to another part of your activity, be it the schedule, be it another message, be it an email. And again, very innovative, very easy to use, very intuitive, and using this, this magnificent screen. Something we introduced with the Arena phone, um, many of you may have been at the launch of Arena and have seen the product um, as it's gone through its life since was this concept of gesture shortcut. You could actually say to the phone by just sketching onto the screen what you want to do. You pre-assign the menu or you pre-assign the activity that you want to pick up on and uh, that gesture brings it to life immediately. And so you're really customizing making the phone your own. And naturally it was such a great feature that we've kept it with BL40. And that's a truly magnificent segue because I'm talking about the comparative size of Arena on, on the right as you're looking at it compared to the BL40, the new chocolate on the left. Because one of the questions I was asked when we started to talk about what the phone would look like is, but isn't that going to be too big? Isn't it going to be too bulky? And the answer, as you will see, is no, it, it doesn't look like that at all. It's thinner, um, it, it's certainly narrower, and its length is to do a job. It is actually to put that widescreen into, into use. And I've been using one now for about three weeks. I've been very lucky to, to, to have been using it for about three weeks. And it fits into the shirt pocket. It does all of the things you'd expect it to do. So please think about that when you see it in hand, and when you see it demonstrated. Um, just a recap, just a little recap to bring to mind the things that you might want to ask the trainers when you're, you're talking through your demonstration for what you might want to write up in, in in, in the various uh, magazines, periodicals, or, or websites that you're, you're representing. It's the screen. The screen is hugely important. The design of the product is also uh, of equal measure to me. It is actually a, a defining moment for LG. The Black Label series has done well to get to this point and bring out such an innovative product in its range, in its sequence. Um, so the design, the, um, the wide screen, and the ability to browse the web without needing to scroll side to side. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you'll agree, either in what I've said to you just now, or with what you'll see when you have the product demonstrated, that the chocolate BL40, the new chocolate, is indeed the shape of the future. Thank you.